It's so funny because he's all, he's just looking up. Hi, little <laughs> buddy. Look at you. Oh, you got a big knife there. Did uh, did your uh, demon master need to go to the bathroom real quick or something? Head empty. Okay. No thoughts between those eyes. Ooh. And now you die. Ooh, this map. Okay. <laughs> I always try to do the one in like the middle first, and then they always come there first, bro. I'm trying to find a totem real quick. Nope. Someone just ran past me. That I think me. that was Aiden. No, no, no. Where is it? Oh, it's in the building building. Okay. Oh, there it is. I got my speed healing. Are we all on four Jennies? Four different Jennies? Uh, we're on three. Uh, me and Aiden are together. Uh. I'm, who is this killer? I don't know. I feel like I'm, it's someone invisible. Yeah, I'm feeling very paranoid right now. It's either yeah, I don't Scream, like this. Michael I feel like Myers, yeah, like Ray. This. Just corner herself, and then we just did three gens on one side. But oh, okay. Yikes. there's a med kit in this chest that I just opened. Someone's right next to us. Uh, it's Freddy. Freddy's right next. Freddy. To us. But wouldn't the thing be ticking? It's Chucky. Yep. That makes sense. Alright, remember last time. The side killer shack. Don't mess with it. Remember last time. We got got? What? I don't remember anything like that. Oh, there's a totem. Ah, oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Poor guy. Wow, he might have no one. To, he might have no one to escape. He's just waiting. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm kind of scared because maybe he doesn't have any good perks, and he has. That's the only good perk he has. I don't want to do this anymore now. We're at the oh. doors, though. Well, I'm going to a door. Door is right beside us, Sam. It's okay. not expected of a game. Now, well, I kinda, now I want to mess with it. Like, do I ever say hi to him? He's over here. Oh. Our friend left. Heading the chuck. It's so funny because he's all, he's just looking up. I need the body. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, you got a big knife there. Did uh did your uh, demon master need to go to the bathroom real quick or something? Head empty. 
Okay. No thoughts between those eyes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we just gotta head out then. Why do we get exposed every time we jump into lockers? Oh, he has that stupid perk. Oh, uh, what's it called? Oh, it's one of the perks. What's it called? What's that perk called? I can't Boop. remember. Can't remember. Dredge perk, I think it is. Mm. Or is it oh, the uh, lesion one? Lesion, there it is. He actually had. Oh, he had Mori. Wow, he must have had to go do something IRL. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's talk about Haiti Kawar. She has three really cool perks that are great to run in a build. Starting with Residual Manifest. You can rummage through our chest once per trial, and you'll be guaranteed a basic flashlight. And on top of it, if you do a blind action on a killer, they will gain blindness for 30 seconds. And you gotta remember, blindness effect just means they can't see the aurora or visible notification. So barbecue and chili, tinker, anything like that would be taken away from the killer for 30 seconds. And I like this perk as it can create some very unique gameplay events with being able to pick up a flashlight from a chest, especially as you could run ace in the hole for good add-ons or plunder instinct to try to get a high value flashlight. And if no other survivor takes a flashlight, the chance of the killer having lightborn is very small. And on top of it all, you could get blindness effect for 30 seconds and we're talking about the mechanics. So it works for all blindness. So if you ran flashbang or blast mine, that 30 seconds is added on top of that as well, creating a really unique buff and it's just awesome. The next perk we have is Overzealous. After cleansing or blessing a totem, you will then get a generator repair speed increase by 10%. And then on top of it all, if you cleanse or cleanse another totem, it will double to 20%. But the big catch is if you get injured by any means, you lose all buffs and you'll have to start over. And even with that huge catch, I still really like this perk as it's a generator string perk, but also a very gamble perk as it is forcing you to stay hidden, keep all that benefits to really get a gen done fast. But even with the factor of being a very gamble perk, I still think it'd be very strong and valuable, especially as you could blast totems to activate. So running this with like Shadow Step is a very strong combo for staying hidden and doing generators Lightning McQueen fast. The last perk we have is Inner Focus. You can see other Sire's scratch marks and when a Sire loses a health state within 32 meters of you, the killer is revealed to you for five seconds. This perk, I think a lot of people will overlook and dismiss as it's not strong in a perk of value sense, but think about it in a group environment and with having someone new, they're trying to show the ropes to. You can make sure that they're not leaving a massive arrow point to where you guys are at, and the killer won't be knocking at the door saying they have girl guy cookies. I would be screwed. I couldn't resist handing over my wallet for those damn cookies. And that is Haiti Core's perk set. And I give it two thumbs up as all three perks are very cool and highly suggest as they all can create some very cool and fun builds. She does have some very unique outfits. I do wish there was more outfits and got the Sable or Fang Min treatment with some really fun funky and like wow that's awesome outfits but hey it's always possible in the future but i really hope you enjoyed game one with us freaking out that we had some stealth killer gonna wipe us out and instead it was just chuckles being afk make sure to like and subscribe as you are all amazed my viewers let's get into game two that it's just me talking myself and looking crazy see you later all righty in here who we got here that meg and that was meg I need a totem, but... What? It's really hard to get that one thing done. Hey guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Okay, the games are trash anyways at the moment, yeah. Yeah, the games are trash anyways at the moment, like... Hi, you got something wrong? Also, you're a Claudette with a toolbox. It's really weird seeing that. Oh, she's like, uh, she's got all of Claudette's stuff. I don't know how to feel. Does that mean you're like a really good player? Or do you play Claudette because you like the character model? Or you just proceeding all the starters? Is there a totem here? There's a totem here. I see a totem. Personally, I would say I probably should get rid of this perk. There's probably way better ones I can use. As this one's very, I think, situational for the context. But with a 10% increase, so 10% of 140 seconds, because there's 140 charges, so 10% or so that's 1.1, some math. So it's 0.1, so 0.1 times 140 would be is 40. Wait, hold on, why did I say 40? Yeah, 140.1, so that would be, yeah, I guess 14, right? Because one would go to 10, so 10 would go to 0 0.01, so yeah, 100. So we get about 14 seconds off doing a generator cells. I think if solo running this perk, it's probably not good. I probably should use something like a, a boon totem with this. So it actually has a bit of a beneficial to it. But it also does stack onto multiple. So if I could stay hidden, it does last longer. So you could, if you can do two or three gens with this active for run, you are going to save 30 seconds of time or so. So yeah, I don't know. Thought she got me. But it's a spear, remember. If a spear goes into her thing, don't run. Just stand still and walk. And you'll be good, you'll be good. I guess the other one would be her stream. I like the perk. I like the idea of the perk because it is, I think, a great perk for um, what do you call it? Would be a great perk for uh, if you're helping someone or someone who's new and learning the game. <gasps> no, I let go. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, if you're trying to learn or get good at the game, yeah, I actually like that perk. I think right now with s randoms, I think it's got at least a tooth that it has a valid validity of. Because I do get worried about how my teammates play. And I didn't realize I see Ritz. No, I'm sorry. I'm coming to get you, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. At least get it halfway and then I'll go. Okay, I'm gonna go. 
Come here, Lem uh, Lent boy. Okay, come here, Lent boy. Turn up there. There you go. Yeah, we can speed deal right here. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. And then we're gonna go up on that hill. Interesting, so with two people, I'm going over one charge per second. That's what I mean by orange. That's pretty phenomenal. And then with three people, it goes below because of the ratioing that it does. But that's pretty awesome. Okay, that. Yeah, so I guess if I should, I should really be equipping a boon totem with using that perk to get a, a more beneficial out of it. Because if I can use shadow step or circle of healing with it, pretty, probably really nice. Probably do circle of healing. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, you're good. Good, 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 good. Everyone happy? We gotta get Lent boy. We gotta get Lent boy. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. No, 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 Go, 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 come on. There we go, yeah, four. GG.